What's good, YouTube? What's good in the hood, man? I appreciate y'all for pulling up on my block. Image 33 is where it's at. It's your boy Z3, and we back again with another reaction video. And this one's about, you know, most shocking stuff that happen all over the world that get caught on camera. Before we get into it, don't forget to press that like button and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and leave a comment down below. Let's go! The place at the 23-story Manhattan Promenade Tower on 3rd Avenue near East 25th Street and was captured on CCTV surveillance footage featured in this video. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's crazy, that's crazy. As one woman stands waiting, the elevator door opens into the lobby and a man wearing a backpack swiftly and safely emerges. Unexpectedly, the wheels around the crushed. elevator car malfunction as Wasteprin and five others go rocketing downward. Wasteprin instinctively shot out his right hand to grab the frame of the elevator door to the lobby. He then tried to plant his right leg onto the lobby floor, but was immediately overpowered by the collapsing block of steel. Sam Wasteprin had moved from Milwaukee to settle down in New York City, where he worked in software sales for six years before his untimely death. First responders pronounced Wasteprin dead at the scene. An autopsy results revealed Sam Wasteburn was asphyxiated to death and suffered extensive injuries to his neck and chest, ultimately dying from the crushing blunt force trauma to his neck and torso via mechanical asphyxiation. Residents say that they had grown accustomed to the- That's one of my biggest fears right there to be, you know, caught in an elevator, but to get squished and caught in between one, ugh. I feel bad for him and his family, man promenade or monthly rent for a one-bedroom apartment starts around $3,700. One resident said that the elevators are always jumping between floors and compared the elevator rise to something out of a horror movie. Freak elevator mishap on Wednesday. Man, that is crazy. I would not wish that on anybody. The way that person died, that's crazy. December 14, 2011 at a Madison Avenue office building. The accident happened at around 10 a.m. in the 26-story office tower. Advertising executive Suzanne Hart was killed in an elevator mishap as she headed to work at the prestigious advertising agency Young and Rubicam on Madison Avenue in New York City. Ooh. Susan Hart fell forward, part of her body inside, part still outside. Ooh. The elevator became wedged between two floors with the woman's body being crushed. Two people. That's crazy getting caught in between, half of the body in, half of the body out. That's like nuts. That is nuts. There have been reportedly elevator violations in the building in the past, but it's unclear from which of the building's elevators. See, if there was already violations of the elevators in the past, they should have already had people check on it. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Number three, take my breath away. On the night of September 14, 2014, at around 5.50 p.m., Hukwa University's school security department received a call claiming Ooh. that a student was stuck in an elevator in one of the academic buildings. After the report was called Ooh. in, campus security immediately called the authorities at around 6 p.m. The rescue workers who opened the elevator discovered the student had already suffocated to death. CCTV footage shows the malfunctioning lift shooting up and slowly crushing a college student to death as he steps inside. The student couldn't move away quickly enough as the lift jerked upwards and was caught between the floor of the elevator and the top of the doorframe, where he was inevitably pinned and crushed to death. The witness told local media that the young man seemed more surprised than worried as the lift started to rise upward. He had no time to react when it suddenly slammed him into the top of the lift's doorframe, trapping his Oh, that's so bad. I'm glad they got it blurred out. But you can just imagine what he was going through, the, what his mind was going through in the middle of that situation. Upper torso and left leg inside of the elevator car while the rest of his body dangled outside. Number four, break a leg. Another elevator fatality in China occurred when a woman had her leg oh! severed off by a faulty elevator after getting her lower I'm body sorry, trapped between closing crazy. doors. CCTV footage shows a short-haired woman looking at her phone while walking in. Oh, oh, a whole leg just got caught in there and snatched. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. This is crazy. Y'all bear with me. She struggles to get her leg out, and it appears that the lift has crushed and possibly cut off her right leg. The incident happened on June 21st, 2017, 
but the footage wasn't released until January of 2018. The incident took place in the Conch building in Shanghai, China. No further information has been disclosed. It remains unclear if the woman survived the accident. Number five, splitting headache. There definitely seems to be a curse within elevators in China as three of the five tragedies depicted in this video come from that country, including this accident of the nurse who is tragically decapitated. All of the videos is coming from China. They elevators need to upgrade or something. They need to have some maintenance people fix all of their elevators because there's so much fucking fatalities happening out there with elevators because of that. It's crazy. Capitated in front of 14 other people while riding a malfunctioning elevator. On May 15, 2013, a 24-year-old nurse with only a surname of Wang being released to the public had her head cut off in an elevator after she found herself pinned between its closing doors. The victim... Oh, her head cut off? That's crazy. I can't, I can't. victim was trapped in the elevator in Shanghong Tower in Shenzhen, oh, Huohu District oh. when it unexpectedly malfunctions. When the doors open, the nurse attempts to exit the elevator, but it starts moving again, trapping the nurse and effectively cutting off her head in the process. There are 14 others in the elevator when Wang's headless lower body catapults back into the backed elevator room. A journalist was able to uncover information that the company in charge of the building's maintenance, Wei Da Ele Oh. That's crazy. They don't show it all the way, but they kind of show. You could imagine, like, just the blurriness, but the body just dropped. Elevator Shanghang Limited had completed an inspection just a few days prior on May 12, 2013, with no problems reported prior to the incident. So that's it for today's video, guys. If you Man, that's it, y'all. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. Uh, send me some links, man. If y'all got any other like videos to send me, man. But that's crazy what we just witnessed. Woo. Anyways, appreciate y'all for pulling up on me. But it's time to pull off. All right, y'all. Z3, we out.